here's what's in my freezer. So, I have had, well, over the years, not so much anymore, but uh, back in uh, a while ago, I had a friend of mine send me a, a note and he asked me, you know, do you still shoot film? And I said, well, yes, I do. So he said, great, what's your FedEx number? I want to send you some film. And I gave him my FedEx number and this showed up. Um, not all of this, but, 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 but a lot of it. So, so I just kind of want to walk you through the chaos that is my film freezer. So there's a lot of stuff in here, obviously. And, um, and as I've been discussing in one of the other videos we're doing, uh, I'm not entirely sure just how much of it I'm going to shoot, but um, I just want to kind of walk you through a little uh, history of uh, history of film. Uh, <laughs> not, 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 you know, not cinematic, but just like actual photographic film. So, uh, without further ado, we'll start with this that just fell down. So now, of course, we have we have the the iconic and and the the, the rare the Acrochrome 1000. This was the this it had really painterly, really soft, beautiful colors. 1000 ASA chrome film. Uh, I really enjoyed shooting it, and. Um, uh, they stopped making it many years ago. This roll of film is best before October 1995. So, whoops. Um, so you know that, excuse me, you know that um, that's probably not going to work out very well. And in fact, I recently did shoot a roll of Extrachrome, or sorry, Acrochrome 1000, and it, it was not what it used to be for sure. Uh, what else we got here? E100VS, which was uh, back in the day, uh, uh, Kodak did uh, E100 VS, E100 uh, S, E100 SW, you know, they had about six different types of E100, six different types of ectochrome film. Uh, Pro 160C, that's Fuji color, that's actually quite a nice uh, film. EPY, ectochrome 64T, so that's tungsten based ectochrome uh, slide film. So, and here we've got more slide film. This is the Fuji 64T Type 2, which had 128 second exposure. Uh, before you started getting into reciprocity. It was actually an amazing film, great for uh, architectural interiors, a lot of fun to um, put a roll of that, th that through the camera. I have no idea, actually probably, probably in pretty good shape. It's a slow film, so I should, I should shoot a roll of 64T and see what I get. Uh, Neopan 1600, that's not going to get shot anytime soon. This is a roll of film, this is 400 UC, so Kodak did some ultra color. This is their, their when they did um, started with portrait, they had UC for ultra color, NC for neutral color, uh, VC I think. Uh, 160, 400. Now they just have Porsche 116, Porsche 400. Um, best before 10, uh, October 2005. Uh, there's some 320 TXP. There's uh, what else we got here? Uh, T Max from just a couple of years ago. So that's probably pretty good. Um, <laughs> and then, so it's actually really funny because you've got the situation in, in the in the in the door here. I can show you um, where there were all of these films. There's N P H, N P C. There's also NPS, and then there was, uh, there's NPS uh, in 220 as well, got lots of that. Um, and it, it, and it, was, it was funny because you know, I, I could never figure out, I was never really, I, I used to shoot Kodak film, or I still shoot Kodak film more than Fuji film, but I, I could never figure out what, what this stuff was. I could never quite remember which was for skin tones and which was not and all that kind of stuff. So, anyway, but other people knew and... Um, and you know, the, certainly the price was right when it came to that stuff. I do have over in the edge here. I do have some Pro 400H, which uh, is uh, the last last few rolls of that. This is best before best before 2023. So uh, that's actually still pretty good. So I got 10 rolls of that. I managed to pick that up before it disappeared. And in large format film, we've got the iconic whoops, the iconic EPP. This is Ectochrome 100 Plus. This was sort of your standard go-to. Uh, 4x5 sheet film for studio photography forever. It's an unopened box of 10 sheets. Um, I have no idea how that would be, but I could probably shoot that. This is some fun stuff. This is Agfa Scala. This was a black and white slide film that Agfa made, um, and you actually had to send it away to get it processed, um, but it was an unbelievably beautiful black and white slide. Um, and, uh, and it was a lot of fun to shoot. And the drawback, of course, is that I don't even know what you do with it now because you can't process it. And I, I think there's, you know, if anybody knows, let me know. Uh, I think there's a, a, a company or that sells a, a, a processing kit so you can actually develop it. But, uh, but up in, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that that's pretty much useless. Um, that film, which is kind of too bad because it was nice stuff. Oh, look, NPL. Uh, I have no idea what NPL is for. Um, Vel. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, there's one sheet left. That's why I, I can probably just toss that. Um, Kodak SW. What else we got here? 100. See, here we go. Here. So here's E100G, and then NPS, NPS, Portra 400, 
unfortunate. Da, da, da. So there's just there's you know there's just lots of lots of stuff in here. Some of which I would shoot, some of which I wouldn't shoot. This Konica SRG, my uncle found like 200 rolls of this stuff about 20 years ago. I have no idea where it came from or, or what he was what he was thinking, but uh, best before May of 2000. So um, that probably is not going to see the light of day anytime soon. Um, E200, one of my all-time favorite films. I really enjoyed E200, uh, but uh, this stuff is actually getting a bit long in the tooth as well. This is some retro ADS that is actually relatively relatively recent. Um, uh, March of 2021 is when it expires. And I, I've got four or five rolls here, and I shot a couple of rolls, and, I, and I, something was wrong with it. It was just weird. It had, it like, just the, the, the actual film itself had some sort of a technical flaw that, that does not make me want to shoot more of it, but I probably should try it out and just double check to make sure it wasn't operator error, which it sometimes is. Old roll of 160NC from 2012. Um, what else have we got here? We've got, and, you know, I'm kind of getting towards the end of it here. Oh, here, 320 TXP in 220. Um, which is actually a really nice film, and I do enjoy shooting the 220. This is 2009, and I've actually recently shot a bunch of that, and it's still in pretty good shape. Um, uh, uh, anyway, it still works fine. So this actually is some Agfa Chrome CT100. This is really nice film. Um, I shot some recently, and uh, best before um, best before November 1996. But for whatever reason, it actually it actually stands up really well, um, and it's it's beautiful film. I really wish I wish. I wish there was more of that around. Um, and I'm getting down towards the end here. Of course, oh yeah, I've got 10 rolls of Provia 400F, um, best before 2003. Not sure how that's going to go. My guess is not very good. Uh, some brand new Ilford film, some more brand new Ilford film. Uh, and. I think I've talked about most of this stuff as well. So, so I'm, I'm kind of at the point now where, where I've got a roll of this and a roll of that. And one of the things about uh, expired film is you need to have enough rolls of film so you can shoot one to test it. And then if it looks good, you, you know you can shoot the balance of it. And uh, right now, a lot of this stuff, I'm at the point where I've only got a few rolls if I can find them. And um, NPZ, 800 speed neg film from goodness, from you know who knows when. That, I'm sure, is no good. So the, anyway, so I was saying that one of the issues with all of this film is that you need to have enough uh, rolls of film so that you can actually try one of them, make sure it works or not, and then uh, adjust accordingly. And um, if you've only got a couple of rolls or if you've only got one roll, then it's really very much a, a gamble as to whether or not, you know, what you're doing or whether or not what you're shooting is, is actually going to look, um, well, it's going to look like, look good. So, uh, so I, I think that I may just end up sending a lot of this on its way because I just have no idea, I have no idea where to go with it. So anyway, so thank you, thank you for a little trip down memory lane there. That was actually, that was a lot more fun than I expected. There's, there's stuff in here I haven't thought about for years. And uh, the next time I show you my fridge, it'll have, or my freezer, it'll have things like frozen peas and other stuff like normal people have in their freezer. So thanks for watching. <laughs>